In the past, self-publishing experts would say that in order to succeed in this business, you need to fire off as many publications as humanly possible in as short a time period as possible. And then there's also the ones out there that believe that all you need is just one book. That's right, one book in order to hit critical mass. So I'm gonna to talk today to an expert about that and more, so make sure that you stay tuned. Welcome to Self-Publishing with Dale, and if you're new here and you want to learn how to publish your book and build your brand, make sure that you subscribe and turn your notifications on to get all of the latest content. Today I have return guest and good friend Rob Archangel because we're going to talk a little bit about something when it comes to publishing books. And you've been around this business, you've been around the block quite a few times and you've seen some people come and go in this business. One of the things that experts or would-be gurus used to say was, publish often publish frequent and it got me my success but then there is also those people out there that don't really want to do a massive volume of books that they just want to focus on working on one good book is there pros and cons to each one of these and what do you think is the best methodology i don't know that there's a single best methodology but there are different pros and cons that are involved so uh, the volume approach the, the idea behind that is the more books you have out there, the more opportunities you have for people to connect with you. And then mm -hmm. that does a lot of the marketing on its own. Somebody finds one book from Dale and they want to read the second and third and fifth and hundredth book from Dale. Yeah. And so having those books out there is, is really valuable um, and allows you to start a relationship, build, cast that wide net, and then mm -hmm. uh, deepen the relationship with those other projects. Mm -hmm. As f folks have talked about before, you don't always know what's going to, to land. You may, you may have this million dollar idea in your head and it turns out it's um, it's a hundred dollar idea in your, um, on, on the marketplace. And so when yeah. you put out lots and lots of books, then um, you allow the market to kind of speak to you. And it may turn out that you didn't have quite uh, as good of a finger on the pulse of of the market mm -hmm. as you thought. And something could be a surprising success, something that you weren't expecting. You thought maybe, maybe this will be good. Um, maybe this will kind of resonate with some people. Uh, it turns out to to really you know, go viral, go gangbusters, and uh, and do really well. The other the other advantage to the volume method, uh, the volume idea, is you start to develop some economies of scale. You can build a relationship with your your team or or yourself if you're a solopreneur, if you're doing it all on your own. Mm -hmm. You develop those those practices and processes that make it easier, so that you do a lot of the initial labor at um, at the outset, and you know a lot of the, the brain work and figuring out how you like to work, what your flow, workflow is going to be, and and how to do things um, with some. Uh, some ease and comfort, and then you can really capitalize it, uh, capitalize on that in subsequent projects. That said, uh, there are some downsides, and a lot of people they don't have ideas um, or, or a vision or a motivation to produce a lot of projects, and mm -hmm. they don't necessarily know what direction they want to go in. They have you know a magnum opus inside of them, something that that they've consolidated. You know, maybe it's taken them weeks, months, years, uh, decades to to put together, and they really want to get that story out, get it just right, and then find their their audience that way. You know, the, the trouble is um, that you, you know, it, it like might be that, that million dollar um, idea that, that ends up not really striking a chord, and, and that's disappointing, and you know, you don't, mm -hmm. you don't want to um, put all of your eggs, eggs in one basket necessarily. If you do it well, if you find something that really does resonate with people, then, um, then it can be really potent and really valuable for, for your overall business model. Now, what we advise for, for folks who work with us, um, because in many cases they are in that position, yeah. is they should work on finding their tribe, building their followership um, mm -hmm. beforehand, having that as an ongoing mm -hmm. practice. And the book should be in some ways a summary or a culmination of a lot of those insights and um, yeah. just a, a physical representation of, of what they've learned and, and want to share with people that you know distills the best of their wisdom and that kind of thing. When you when you do that, you're able to deepen that relationship, and and hopefully you have those um, those projects, or you have other avenues for people to to continue to support you. The reality is for for most authors, because of the competitiveness on particularly the Amazon platform, but other platforms as well, it's really hard to make a sustainable living if you're just selling 2.99 eBooks, a single 2.99 eBook. Even True. you know, even a 9.99 eBook is going to be hard. You're going to have to move a lot of copies, and and you may not be able to do that. However, if you have some sort of um, back end way for people to to connect with you, some sort of 
um, mid-level or high-level product or service in whatever your area of expertise is, mm -hmm. then you can have that book out there. It, it casts that wide net for you. Um, yeah. And then some, some smaller percentage of people are going to be interested in continuing on and doing those other things with you. Maybe you have a book and, and then you have oh, some sort of audio video series that's a little bit higher end or, you know, and then at the high end, you might have mastermind groups or coaching or, or that kind of thing mm -hmm. where you have something to, um, to allow people to have that, that deeper relationship and, and support you. Because yeah. ultimately, I know for me personally, there are some authors who, and, and um, individuals out there who, you know, I just like what they do. I want them to keep doing what they do. And, um, you know, I'm very happy to, to uh, patronize them because I know, hey, we all, have, um, we all have bills to pay. We all have to keep the lights on. And, you know, giving value for value. If there's somebody that's offering value to me, then I want to be able to, um, you know, support them and give value in kind so that they can um, continue living and living well and, and having the energy and motivation and passion to keep doing whatever it is that they, they really love to do. I would say the um, other side of that too is, you know, you have to really think about, um, about that back end process and, and develop that infrastructure and be willing to tweak it. You know, whether you go the volume route or, or the single, um, you know, single publication route, it is a business. You have to run it like a business. You have to really think about, um, you know, what, what the market's saying and, and do ongoing work to tweak it. You know, it's, yeah. it's very rare the individual who puts something out there you know, becomes a runaway success and uh, doesn't have to continually work for it. In many cases, those people who do, just like lotto winners, you know, they, they don't know what to do with that, uh, with that success, you yeah. know, with that, um, that windfall that comes their, their way. And so you want to, you know, develop that, uh, that discipline and that practice and that perseverance so that when you do start to see the fruits of your, your labor, you, you already have the good habits in place, the mental habits, um, you know, as much as, as any labor habits and you're able to, to, to manage it adequately. You know what goes involved, and so it's not easy come, easy go. You actually really appreciate and value uh, the, the fruits that you're, you're starting to see.